Good morning, everybody. It is March the 19th, 2017. Scripture of the day is Matthew chapter 10, verse 39. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. We know in the scripture that the Lord is telling us that um, when we accept Jesus into our lives and accept him as our Savior, um, we then from that point we give um, our own uh, uh, way of life up to live a life through him and through the Holy Spirit and um, to live through the kingdom of heaven. We know that scripture says that um, we, are not of, we are in this world but we are not of this world. We are of the heavenly kingdom um, from the point on uh, when we accept Jesus as our Savior and accept salvation through Him. Uh, we give up, um, you know, what, um, you, you know, our worldly ways for kingdom ways through the kingdom. And it's through that that um, we will gain eternal life with our Heavenly Father um, and with uh, our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, so it is a gain for us to lose our own lives, um, you know, to, um, to, take, uh, to take up the life of Christ. Um, and through that um, taking, um, we will find life eternal uh, through Him. So it is a gain. And, um, and we gain so much more. Um, because uh, we know as uh, people who live in the world and live uh, worldly lives um, are, are never very rarely happy. Um, and they look to other things for their peace and comfort. But we know through the Lord Jesus Christ, we look to the Holy Spirit and to Him for our peace and comfort. And uh, it says in the Word that the Holy Spirit, um, you know, I will send um, a comforter to you. That was what the Lord said before he was on the cross, and that is the Holy Spirit. And we live through the Holy Spirit, and it's the Holy Spirit that teaches us all truth. Um, and through the world, we do not get truth. Um, we get deception, and um, we also will experience um, destruction and chaos. Um, it is an open door uh, to us through the enemy. But once again, when we, when we lose our life and we give it up to uh, live the life of Christ, we, we gain prosperity, we gain life, and we gain abundance. Um, so the Lord is saying that, um, uh, you know, when you give up your life for, um, you know, for, this, for my sake, uh, you will find life eternal. And uh, we know that is the only way to find eternity is through the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, no one go, uh, comes to the Father um, but through Jesus. And it's through uh, us accepting the salvation and that He died for our sins that we will gain that eternity um, in heaven and uh, be with our Lord Jesus Christ. All right, guys, so um, I'd like to say a prayer with you guys this morning. Lord, we thank you for this word. Lord, we thank you um, that we do, you know, we are sacrificing our own lives um, to take up uh, um, your uh, life in your ways so we can gain eternity with you, Lord, and with our Father in heaven. Um, we, uh, we then give up our heart's desires uh, for ourselves through selfishness but we give it up um, as a sacrifice to you for what you did on the cross for us, Lord. And um, we thank you, Lord, for all that you have uh, done for us and all that you haven't done. We thank you for your wisdom and your knowledge that you are giving us in these end times. We thank you for um, you watching over us and our families. We thank you for um, opening up uh, truth to us through the Holy Spirit and revealing uh the truth to us in areas that um, we have been deceived in. Lord, uh, we thank you for what you did on the cross for us, and we pray this in your mighty name, Jesus. Amen. Okay, guys, so it's Matthew chapter 10, verse 39. Um, giving up our lives um, for his sake to find life eternal. And uh, I think that's the least that we can do um, for our Savior who died a tormenting death on the cross 
to set us free from bondage and give us life more abundantly. All right, so you guys have a blessed morning. Remember, ears open, eyes open. Listen to the Spirit, and of course, eyes to the skies. And I'll talk to you guys soon.